Hi, today we are going to build a shape like that, earring style like this. These are stacked earrings. So this is one shape and it is uh, stacked over one another and the only difference is the difference of the size. So today we are going to make piles like that and learn how to stack them right in the right uh, in the right manner so these earrings hang properly and their jump ring hole falls in the same spot so this is my design and these earrings are available if you visit my creative fabrica shop these earrings are available for free so you can download for free the link will be in the description and you can download this design and experiment with that so in this shape you can see here uh, that these shapes are stacked on one another so if you go to Etsy and just type stacked drop teardrop earrings you can see they are everywhere people make it in different styles like these ones or like in animal print in whichever print color they like there are shops which only make these type of earrings stacked earrings one shape repeating three times so this is what we are going to make today this simple shape and this structure so I'll show you how I make this shape how I align them nicely so when they are stacked one over one another they look nice and pretty so we will start and this is our working folder and you can see I keep everything on my work file working file and I have another layer which I will use for this purpose so as I told you I always keep my guides right in the middle of the artboard and then I have 2 into 2 inch or 3 into 3 inch box in which I create all the designs so this box pink box is 2 into 2 inch top, uh, high and wide so I, because I will know where my earrings are going and how big and tall is this design and how and so they will be in this constraint so I will know if I make this is as an earring then this will this will be two inch at least two inch uh, high and two inch uh, at least within two inch uh, width area so now we are going to build some shapes like this so we can make this stack earrings so for this what I'm going to do very simply now we first we have to study the design so it is teardrop shape which is uh, which, which which can be a simple uh, shape or right here it can be cut out with this is complicated to, so this can be a different leaf like shape or this is slightly rounded or this one is very very round from here you can see these shapes are slightly rounded so we are going to make something like that so what we are going to do is again create a teardrop shape I start my drawing with pencil tool because I find it and it's really easy and even drawing with a mouse it works so what I'm going to do I'm going to just draw a shape like this and there are going to be many fails and repeats so I want you to see the process like how long it takes how long it takes to create these designs so I'm going to uh, make it in black color so I see this is not a good shape so repeat here you go once again like this now you can see it has some shape but this line is not smooth I always smooth you have to have smoother lines because you can see here the anchor points has to be less in number so you can literally count and one two three four five six anchor points so we don't need that many anchor points in this little design 
so what I'm I want my line to be smooth so I will go to object select this line go to object and path and simplify now you can see here this simplify has uh, simplified this line into two points it starts with one point and ends on another point and it is nice and smooth so there are no more six points so I'll accept the result okay and now what I will do is I will align these top and bottom anchor points so they are exactly in the same spot here you go and what I'm going to do is re reflect this design right here reflect right click reflect and vertical reflect and copy so I made a copy of it and I with the help of arrow key I'm going to bring it to the other side so now I know that this shape is within 2 into 2 inch confined area so I'm going to turn off my 2 into 2 inch box and but I'll keep my guides here I'll turn them back on after some time so you because I want to show you how this the structure of this file is looking so we have this teardrop shape now these are two separate lines now we need to join these lines to make this shape so what I'm going to do I'm going to go to direct selection tool select these two points and with the help of join tool in the pencil menu I'm going to join them just just hover over it and it will join it and again select these two rubber band select uh, points and again go to join tool and hover over it it will join these two points now you can see this is a nice shape and I'll just keep a copy of it by control C and keep copy of all designs you make because you know what it, you can spoil the one and then you always have the safe copy now you can see now this design is in a path one point path I'm going to change it to stroke by toggling between fill and stroke I'm going to choose stroke now this is a solid shape let's take a closer look now you can see let's change the color uh, maybe yellow now you can see this shape is ready to go but I want to make it nice and smooth so here I find that this is it has some kink in it I just want to make it nice so I'll go to direct selection tool select this point only now it shows this tiny little circular handle if you and I'm going to choose this and bring it slightly up so this smooths the smooth make make this joint smooth so this is our shape ready now you can see that this shape is ready for the earring I can just punch a jump ring hole by choosing an ellipse and choosing a dimension I will choose I work in inches so I will choose 0.1 inch and change the color so you can see uh, the final result but here you go so if I put this jump ring hole here my design is ready this earring is ready but what I'm going to do here put it aside right here and I will worry about making stacking layers like this one, one this we have made the largest layer now I'm going to make two layers this one and this one medium and small so for to make medium and small simply I'm going to control C and control F change the color and control C what it does it copies this design again control C and control F puts it right on the front exactly illustrator is perfect perfect so now you can see this is on the top of the design I can make it a little bit smaller now again to make the third layer I'm going to again select this one control C control F and I'll change the color so you can see I'll change the color to light blue and I will change the dimension of it by holding shift and alt so shift keeps it right in the center 
and all i mean the uh, all helps to uh, resize it proportionally the proportions are same so you can see now we have a bigger this one uh, this is big and biggest size of the earring so this is on the, the right in the back and then we have this middle and then we have this small now what we are going to do is select all of these again go to align you can find align here window align and this menu will appear align menu so from this align menu I'm going to work on align on selection because this time this will align these objects only first of all they are in the center align center right here horizontal align and now I'm going to do a align vertical align top like this very simply this is uh, illustrator is mathematically uh, correct and accurate so you can see this design the smaller or larger part medium and small they are right on the same spot with the help of this align this align to vertical align top now they are all in the same area and what I'm going to do now I'm going to punch a jump ring hole through this design I'll change the color so you can see I'll change it to purple maybe now this is my jump ring hole which we made so what I'm going to do first arrange bring to front and then bring it here so we know that this shape now looks like this shape which is which is ready to go for the jump ring now align everything again align to selection you can see this moved a little bit so now I know everything is aligned to a center the center of gravity of the design is now in the center when somebody will make the earrings they are going to uh, form a perfect earring with the help of this design so what I'm going to do now how to get the jump ring hole in the right spot so what I'm going to do here first of all I know that these one two three these are right stacked on the top of each other and so what I'm going to use this trick that I'm going to select this jump ring, jump ring hole and I'm going to go to object and path and I'm going to choose divide objects below right here so click now what it does this jump ring hole control Z I'll see this jump ring hole was here it what it did object path divide object below it punched this hole this jump ring hole through every layer which was there every object which was behind this one circle so there were three objects behind this one circle and it punched the hole into these three objects so let let us count so one and then this blue one two and this orange three now you can see that this hole is perfectly right where we want it through these layers so now when somebody will put jump rings or ear earring hardware this uh, this will stack properly you can see here you can do now anything with this design you can put hearts you can make it into a shape like feathers you can do whatever but this is how basically you build this design so everyone thank you very much for joining me today so link of this design will be in the description this